Now, for those of you who don't know, 50 Cent has pretty much departed his production company from stars. He's still going to be somewhat involved in the development of, you know, BMF. But usually when something like this happens, they don't really have as much power or say as much as, you know, they used to back in the past. And yeah, they might have, you know, some input here and there, but I feel like with what Corny Camp revealed in the past about 50 Cent, he was really, you know, present in the development of Ghost's character from the very start, from the very pilot. He was actually supposed to portray Ghost at a certain point, but he basically backed out and he felt that Kanan was the character that suited him more compared to Ghost. But anyways, I feel like with what he did with a pilot, the pilot was completely different according to Corny Camp and when he came in, there were some changes and for those who don't really understand what I mean, when you look at Fiddy's history, he's somebody, you know, that's actually from the streets. He's basically someone that knows what happens in the streets, how people talk in the streets, what happens out there, you know, and I feel like that that level of authenticity is not really going to be there anymore if he doesn't really have as much as an input as he once had as stars and yeah they're giving him the you know producer credit but i don't really think that he's gonna have you know that same you know power that he once had and i feel like some of the shows mostly goes is you know gonna suffer from you know his absence that was once there and now that we have a new show running right now there might be small changes here and there and uh, one thing I can say is that we shouldn't expect these seasons to now feel, you know, like they did at a certain point. He's still getting the producer credits because he was a producer when the shows were being filmed, if you get what I mean. But this deal was just reason, and he's not really going to have, you know, that involvement like he once had. Now, many fans have been wondering what exactly went wrong. Well, the reason 50 feels comfortable with the decision of moving out from power and not really having much of an input is because he started feeling like he didn't really have any input in the first place. Once, you know, the spinoffs started rolling out, they weren't really listening to his ideas. They weren't really listening to, you know, his pitches. And if you remember correctly, he wanted, you know, power and BMF to air back to back throughout the entire year. That's something that he promised to the fans. And I feel like a lot of other producers as stars really got in the way of that, and he didn't like that. And you know how he acts when people get in the way of things that he's working towards. He probably just wants, you know, another place where he can work with more, you know, creative people from his culture and tell more stories from his culture. There were probably more pitches, and there was obviously this Snoop Dogg TV show that's coming out about the murder, about the murder case that he dealt with back in the 90s i personally don't think it's gonna happen anymore i'm not too sure about that whole you know situation but according to him he's moving on from power officially completely and i'm expecting to see that series somewhere else at this point but that's pretty much what i believe went wrong when it comes to 50 situation with the stars i just feel like they were listening to his ideas you know how he acts he's a really you know He's a person who really moves fast with his, you know, work. And the fact that we haven't had, you know, the show's air in pretty much over a year, I feel like that really upsets him because he did promise the fans that they were going to get these shows back to back. And unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. He's obviously going to take his content to another platform where he's going to be able to do that. And he's going to be able to air his projects back to back without having, you know, that issue in place. And if it does happen again, then you already know what's going to happen. He's going to leave and he's going to start something else somewhere else. And just like I was saying, the level of authenticity is not really going to hit the same as the ones did right after these couple of seasons are over for these next shows. This deal was just made just like two months ago, I believe, or a month ago, where he officially confirmed that he's moving on from stars. And again, that same, you know, input that he once had is just not going to be there. So 
my main concern is more for the future seasons like season four of ghost season three of bmf and just the future seasons of these shows because he really was this person that Coney kemp the creator of power really depended on when it came to writing new characters new scenarios new scenes and the pilot itself i mean just think about it think about 50 not being in the writer's room and not really collaborating with the producers. I don't really feel like the show is gonna hit the same like it once did. I feel like the worst direction that it could go in is ending up like Empire. You know, Empire had a lot of, you know, scenarios that just felt kind of childish. When you come to really think about it, I feel like that's where the show fell short because, because the show didn't really have that type of, you know, that type of authenticity that a show like Power had, and I feel like that's what draws in the fans in the first place. You want to see real scenarios play out. You want to see you want to see characters that you could relate to in a way, and I feel like that's not really going to be hitting the same ones since 50's not really going to be involved like he once used to be. And for the people that are saying that he hasn't really been in the show since Kanan, you know, died, and that, and that it doesn't really matter. He never stopped being a producer on the show. Like, even after Kanan died, he was still, you know, involved behind the scenes. He directed an episode of that same season, I believe, of the final season, season six. And um, I feel like, like I said, the level of authenticity is not really going to hit the same like it was used to. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Do you feel like with these absence, his departure from stars is going to hurt power? and the other TV shows. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching.